Hope y'all are ready for that baked spaghetti. First off, I want you to kiss the cook. You know, kiss the BBC, right? Go green too, make sure you green, all right? If you don't know what that is, tune into my lives. All right, so let me try to loop this shit through the back, hold on. But let's see what I do. Ah, we got All right, so we're cooking up. All right, don't worry about how the kitchen looks. You know, these appliances or anything like that. I didn't pay for this. This is the apartments that did this, right? She says she ready to cook. I got my pot. I got my big ass beef. All natural, they say. Goni molida de res, right? It says cook at 160 to get all the blood, the fat, the goo out of it. I got my rego. I said rego. Prego. Got the most ghettoest pasta we can get. Family size, three pounds. We got our ingredients. While I'm slicing open the beef and everything, I'm gonna actually get these noodles warmed up and boiling, ready to cook. Well, let's go. All right, let's get it. What I'm gonna do is get you some water. Yeah, look at that water just dripping a pot. Ooh, it's gonna drop hot. I got that baked spaghetti. <laughs> Hey, ooh. Know, right. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We're going to keep that exclusive. So, putting the water in the pot, I want to make sure the process is good. While the beef is cooking, we get the noodles ready to go. Get yourself a little cheap pan. You can use a Pyrex dish if you need. Get yourself your favorite type of oil. It could be that buttery shit, that canola. We're going to get all corners. Voila, magic. All right, excellent. We got the strainer ready to go too. Now the reason why you wanna have your noodles cooking ahead of time is because this is a lot of beef to cook. A lot of beef to cook. That's gonna take about 20, 30 minutes to get all the pink, the blubber, the guts, the EBT juices and everything, grind it out and cooking. If she get a top, to make sure the water is boiling, I'm a little bit faster. Now, this is gonna take quite some time, but Oh damn, hold on, it's used to ghetto uh, burgers and shit like that. Like I said, we don't pay for the stoves, we just use what they give us. Now let's get to the nasty part. Excuse my Chick-fil-A uh, ketchups and everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, don't worry about that, got an extra couple of honeys. Back, but listen, that's not kind of what this is about. This is about bacon spaghetti. To the, the nitty gritty. Hmm. That's not gonna work. I might do it. Dang, that ain't gonna work either. Looks like we need to get some uh, some new knives, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's looking like, man. So we over here on some dull status. We've been really showing them where to go. Damn, you didn't really though. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, yeah, sharpen that, man. Okay. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Let's see if that made a difference, made a dent. Okay. Ooh. Right through. Oh, yeah. All we needed was a little bit of sharpening. See, y'all. We just showed y'all a valuable lesson. Sometimes things in life are dull. You just gotta sharpen them a little bit. Hooking them up with a little bit of Mr. Rogers advice. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get them to the life advice. Oh no, a lot of you might be. Why is he using gloves? It's just me. Touch it. I'm sorry, but do you see that? Y'all, motherfuckers, actually, when I touch something like that, you're crazy. I'm not a chef. Today I am, but. I'm still not a certified chef, so I don't want to touch the goo. Take 
Get you something that you can stab. Stab? Yeah, you need a metal spatula. A metal oh. spatula is actually going to make it so that you can press the meat and kind of get nitty and gritty with it. Oh, I thought you were referring to the body, but never mind. Gotta to open that window. Those are frozen. That's a lot of fucking meat. This could feed how many people? How many stray cats, dogs? A family of six, seven. Yup. Yeah. So, I got one plate to put my spatula on. It's dirty with the raw meat. But you also gotta have your seasonings. Your garlic salt. Your Laurie seasoning salt. And just to spice shit up a little bit, I'm gonna throw a little bit of garlic powder on there from Lars, of course. Throw a little bit more of a kit. Put some McCormick crushed red pepper. Those are gonna be my four seasonings that I use on this beef. These burners aren't super powerful. Like I said, when you move into an apartment, you're not in control of the appliances you get. You just kind of take what you can get. More so control that shit when you get a house, yeah? So let's start adding in these seasonings. I'll put my garlic pepper. That's a lot of garlic pepper. Yes, it is. That's a lot of meat. Put in your garlic pepper. Why'd you put garlic pepper and salt? Salt and pepper are two different things. They both add an abundance of flavor and different pops. Take a little bit of my crushed pepper. Hit him with it. Uh. Hit him with it. Uh. Oh, oh, Covenant oh, Kitchen. Oh. Ah. Ooh, don't shake it out. Boom, boom. Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of salt. Well, when you're cooking baked spaghetti, you think it's supposed to be healthy? Shit, you want to load it with sodium. What you want to do is put a mix that in there. Make sure every spectacle of beef, blubber, and fat is touched. Now some of it is becoming brown. So what I'm going to do, make sure I get all of that in there. Let that sit and sizzle for a bit. Let me show them some of that close up action. What's going in their stomachs? Get all that red meat that your body can't process and digest. But you love it anyway. So let that cook for a bit and sizzle. Put the top over it. So we can get some heat going on in there. Once that gets brown, we're gonna come back to it. We got our noodles boiling. And I wanna welcome you guys to the Covenant Kitchen where we're making baked spaghetti. I have another special recipe for you guys too that I'm gonna be doing next. But in order to get that, what do you think we should set the goal for? 2K likes, 20,000? Views? Or are we pushing the boundaries? Or should we just keep it at 10k, 1k likes? Nah, if they if they think Covenant Kitchen is gonna make it, and they want to see all the the best recipes from childhood to the most ghettoest to the most sloppiest we've been eating since kids, Indeed. at least at least 15k likes, and I'd say 20,000 views. That's that's oh, that's a little. I mean, my bad. 15, <laughs> 1,500 likes. Okay, yeah, 1,500 likes. That's doable. 20,000 views. That's exactly. Minimum. 1,500 likes, 20,000 views. That'll show that the work that we're putting in, the food that we're cooking, is actually going to be something that people want to see us make. You guys wanted to see this. You've been begging me for years since the Elgato days, ever since I first brought up baked spaghetti. You guys have been begging me for this. We gave you the vlog ingredients, and now we're giving you the cooked. 
for 200 likes, 20,000 views. I think that's very adequate for my channel. I think that shows that half of you guys are watching. And I think that that shows that that's something that shows that I'm worth it. Because I put in a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of effort for you guys to bring you quality content. On top of that, I got my man DT actually helping me out here. So this is not only something that takes my time, but it also takes his time. And we could be doing other shit, but this is what it's all about. You guys want to see more. 1,500 likes. 20,000 views for the next ghetto recipe, or just recipe in general. Or right? just a series of Covenant Kitchen. Exactly, because we could bring this shit to you guys completely 24-7. Well, not 24-7, but we could bring you one or two episodes a month, you know? Some shit we see, we cook, boom. We got this beef sizzling, and we'll be right back at you guys in a minute. All right, now guys, when you cook this, um, look at all that fat that's in there. Now, if you wanna avoid all that shit, sitting in your midsection, fucking up your abs, well, a lot of you guys probably don't have abs anyways. If you kinda wanna watch what you're eating while eating bullshit, here's what you wanna do with beef. If you're cooking it with the most fattiest, fattiest cuts and grades, wanna take that off of the stove. Let that fat drip. Imagine all that going into your midsection. Fucking up your arteries, clogging your shit. Make you have one of them stankin' ass shits. Sitting on the toilet constipated. That's all going into your midsection. Ah, it's blubbery. You get fucked up and wondering why you look like shit and feel like shit. Now it's still beefy. But now we're just gonna keep cooking it until the fat drizzles and drips. Let that burn a little bit more. Kinda has like a... I ass he smells to it because it's beef. This is actual flesh we're cooking. I'm gonna re-season it again because we kind of let a lot of the seasonings out when we dripped all that fat and bullshit out of there. I'm gonna re-season it, reapply my McCormick red pepper, a little bit of garlic, pepper, lorries. I don't want to reapply none of that raw ass meat on it. I'm just gonna rinse it. And y'all need to find just water, wiping the food off. That's disgusting. Exactly. Oh. Two or three washes to make sure it's properly clean. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're good. We got all that raw ass beef off of it. Boom, let's get the close up of the shines. Let's see here. That meat is cooking and burning. So what I like to do, mixing it up. And I like to chop. I want the meat as small as I can get it. And I'm gonna let this meat cook until it's got not really a burnt, but an extra, extra, extra well done kind of thing to it, or aroma, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then just keep chopping and chopping. Now this, you could do by yourself, obviously, right, if you're cooking it yourself, but basically you could chop it as much as you feel like it needs to be chopped. Me, I'm just gonna chop it until it's like dirt. You guys probably want a big ass chunk. I'll eat meat, but I don't like the idea of eating meat, if you know what I mean. Which is why I like my meats well done overly well done and with this I'm chopping away and I'm just going to keep chopping at it until I feel like I can't chop no more. That's how you know when the beef is like 100% cooked when it starts sticking to the bottom and you got to scrape it. Smell like a bomb ass burger. See that burnt at the bottom? Yeah, y'all see that? Boom. That means we get in somewhere. Boom. Oh yeah. I think, think, think they're ready for us to fry the sauce. I don't know. Mm. They ready for the sauce? <laughs> think they ready for that drip? <laughs> I don't know if they are. I don't know. Y'all ready for the drip?
You hear that pop? That's how you know it's fresh. I'm gonna take this, fill it up. I wanna make sure I'm getting all my sauce. Fill it up halfway. Shake it up. That's how you call, that's what you call stretching the sauce. Now that's a lot of beef, so I might have to apply more water, but what I'll do is I'll pop the flavor a little bit more by applying more seasoning salt on top of that. Cause that's not enough sauce for all this beef. See, look, now the meat's quiet. Stop making noise. I'm gonna apply about a little bit more water. Throw in some more seasoning salt, spices. A little bit more water. Here we go. Boom. Now, obviously, it's a lot of sodium. Obviously, this is some shit you guys wouldn't eat every day. But you can have a little bit of fun, man. When you eat clean all throughout the week, who gives a fuck? If you fuck up for one or two days, you're only human. You eat clean for five, six days. Come back and have some bullshit. You'll be fine. You'll take your shits for a day or two. Your body will re-clean, restructure, repurpose. And you're back good. Drink lots of water. Look at that meat. Look at the fucking seasoning. That's remarkable. Get you a nice bread noodles. Take it. Bam. Let that drop. If you want it to boil, oops. <laughs> Cutting that out. If you want it to boil, throw in a little bit of salt. Kind of get the water to boiling up a little bit. See how this shit start boiling up immediately? So it's up there some salt and now we see the bubbles. Now what you want to do is kind of let that sit in there for a minute. The bigger noodles, they're going to cook faster, believe it. Well, they're going to cook slower if you were to use angel hair. You can use this with any type of pasta you want. You guys can do it with uh, tortellinis. That's really all I know is tortellini. Angel hair. I really don't know all the weird shit, the bonnets and everything. Those boiling, I would say this should be done approximately by, what are we at, 413? I'm thinking 440 max. Oh shit! What happened bro? It's starting to over boil and sizzle. That's how you Put know. That shit back on. Time to restir. The noodles still aren't 100% ready yet because they should be kind of all bent over. That's how you know the noodles might potentially be ready. We got that cascade boil. Look at them shit steam. Great value, finely shredded, sharp cheddar, cheese, good source of protein, two pounds, eight cups. I just read everything that was on the front of the shit because I didn't give it to you. Not too much, but just enough. Voila. Now if you want, you can kind of mix that in makes it even better. Therefore, those hot noodles will start actually melting. Jeez. Our sauce is looking like the top of Jupiter. A gas giant. The weather is crazy. You know it's trouble when you taste it. Sauce. Splash, but that's why they <laughs> wear an apron, baby. Let's 
you want to do again is apply another layer of cheese to coat the top. Not too much, but just enough. You don't want to overpower the sauce, overpower the meat, the cheese. It is a dairy dish. Now we're not going to really mix that in because we want that to be a nice bake and armor over that baked spaghetti. Now if you want to use a Pyrex dish, you can. I don't recommend it because why use a Pyrex dish when you have more dishes to clean? Cut that in. Right, we got our baked spaghetti ready. Open up that oven, that ghetto oven, that movie prop oven. Slide in like so. Let it cook. It should be ready by, to be safe, 30 minutes. You guys ready? I'm sure I am. Eight. 